Josh Donaldson here on 105.3 The the Fan. So you started off last year uh, in the American League with the Yankees. How shocked were you, Josh, to see that the Texas Rangers ended up winning the World Series? You know, we had a couple guys, uh, you know, Trevino, IKF, came from the Rangers, and they kind of were talking to me about what they were doing over there. I was like, you know, it sounds, it sounds pretty good if they can accomplish what they were trying to do. Obviously, uh, getting to the World Series, winning the World Series uh, is a whole nother level. And I, I would say I would have to be a, I was a little shocked to see that they won the World Series yeah. uh, so fast. I remember when they made the moves for Seager and Simeon and everybody was like, well, where are you going to get the pitching from? And, uh, you know, then they made, you know, some great acquisitions and, you know, signed some guys and just really did a great job with Bochy over there. I mean, with that man running the, the helm and, you know, you, you feel like you're, uh, you know, you're in a five-star Uber driver with him at, at the helm. <laughs> 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 you know, he, he's going to make the right moves, and he's obviously been there, done that, and uh, pretty special for the the run that they went on. Uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to make the postseason nine or ten times, and was oh. not fortunate to make the World Series at all. So that's how hard it can be, and you need some breaks to go your way. And you know, they just did a really good job all the way around. When's the la- when's the last time you were in an Uber? Uh, five. Last year, some point during the season. Okay. So you don't have like a fancy yeah. car service. Like Glass now had told me once that like there was like a number to car or something where there was like some type of car service if you were playing. I don't know if that was true or, or in existence. Well, I think that's uh, the car service if you've been, uh, you know, drinking. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know for that. They have a car service for that. They'll come pick you up. For so MLB guys. players? Yeah, yeah. Dang. Well, why else would you well, be taking over? I don't over, know how know? often it gets used. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, never, I, I never used the line. I just remember in spring training, they would say, hey, there's this line if you want. If you're in trouble and you need somebody to come pick you up, here it is. Yeah, so it's true. That's a, that's a good set. I think the NFL's got something like that, too. I think Cowboys players have talked about that. We're talking with Josh Donaldson here on 105 The Fan. Okay, Josh, we're getting a, a, a lot of texts about it. People are wanting to know. They, they want to know your memories, your recap of, of that very famous brawl here in Arlington between Rugnet Odor and Jose Bautista. Yeah, I mean, uh, there was – we had played the Rangers about a week before, and there was a little incident being uh, Rugi had over at third base, and, you know, we had, had a conversation, and, you know, just kind of one of those ordeals to where, um, you know – we had set the boundaries. I was like, hey, if anything happens again, you know, this is what's going to happen. And sure enough, a week, you know, the next week, they, uh, I think it was Matt Bush. I think it was his first appearance mm. back into the major leagues. And uh, smoked Bautista in the ribs on his last step out of the series. And we didn't know, like, if it was going to – There, we, we thought that there might it might happen at some point, but, you know – we just played him in Toronto. Nothing happened, and then we wait to the last at bat to get to get him. And um, you know, Batista goes in with a hard slide. And you know, if Batista wanted to, I think he really could have probably injured Rugi at that time. And he didn't. He was just going in there to just you know playing hard ball like we were able to when you could take out guys at second base. And uh, you know, I think Bautista was a little caught off guard, and he got he got hit. And I, I love what Bautista said after, you know, uh, because I, it's kind of tough to come back from getting smoked in the face like that. <laughs> but, he, you know, he, he, goes, uh, he goes, I guess he needed to be a bigger man to knock me out. <laughs> and, and, and for Bautista to be the superstar player that he was at the time, to take those questions to – take him head on and then have something witty to come back with it. I appreciated that. And, you know, sometimes you're going to get caught. And, um, you know, I remember during the thing I was going to, I was trying to get after Rugi and I went, I was, if you go look at the video, I go, uh, I'm trying to do this like jumping Superman punch. <laughs> at him. 
I don't know why it came to. I remember I was like pretending I was Barry Sanders going through like <laughs> the, all the holes, and then I do this flying jump, and then as I jump, I'm gonna raise my hand up, and somebody hits my right arm. <laughs> And all of a sudden, you just see my hair and my head sticking up like I was like a dolphin coming out of water. <laughs> and I see Rugi, and I'm like, "Uh oh, he's got me lined. Like, he's got me lined up, and uh, he's about to hit me." And, uh, and, and, and thankfully, you know, I, I, I've done enough boxing training and stuff throughout my life that I, I had my head on a swivel and was able to kind of sway at the last second. <laughs> And he just he just grazed me, and um, you know, I was on top of him at that point, and I was able to grab him and take him down to the uh, ground. But then um, three rangers jumped on me immediately, and thankfully for Ian Desmond, because I was like, I'm definitely gonna get kicked right now. <laughs> I'm like, if there's one guy that these guys probably want to kick, it's probably Batista or me. <laughs> it's, it's, and so I'm down on the ground, and then Ian Desmond looks at me and he's like, hey, bro, I got no, I got no issues with you. Uh, I wasn't here for this last year. Just stay here. I got you. And I'm like, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> it's, 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 he's like covering my head. And then uh, my former teammate, Jay Happ, is like, Jay, get up. I'm like, I can't get up. I'm on the bottom here. <laughs> and it, uh, he's like, he said, give me your hand. So I like reached my hand back and he yanks me up and uh, pulls me, pulls me up from the, the pile. And I was like, all right, now here, here I go. I see uh, Russell Martin. He, hey, Russell's like the nicest guy ever until like he red lines. And, you know, then you really don't want to mess with them. <laughs> and so I remember Banny and Banny, he, you know, he's not a small guy. No. He's probably six, four, six, five, yeah. probably two sixty. <laughs> and, uh, Banny was, uh, Russell's former uh, coach over in Pittsburgh. And he was trying to settle Russ down. And Russ, Russ was probably about five ten, five eleven. you know, picks Banny up by his chest and like picks him about a foot off the ground and just tosses him like he was a rag doll. <laughs> and then Sam Dyson came in and speared him, uh, speared Russell from behind. And unfortunately for Dyson, you know, Russell used to do a lot of grappling work with GSP. Wow. And, uh, Damn. And, and Russell caught him by his head and popped his eyes out of socket from squeezing his head so hard. <laughs> That that could so, be the, uh, yeah. That could be the most in depth, best retelling of that legendary moment here that we've ever heard on the home of the Rangers with Josh Donaldson, a former MVP. Derek Collins just texted saying, uh, "Josh is good people. Is he coming for the golf?" So that sentence, that text would piss off a lot of people because you, along with Bautista, right, and you know this, you're on social media. You yeah. guys were like the two hated figures. Did you feel uh, throughout your whole career was the Rangers fan base the most angry at you? What was it like? Well, on social media or dealing with Ranger fans during all that, I uh, you know. I and did you and Josh? Did bit. you and Josh? Did you consider yourself like an irritant? Like, were you trying at all to be like the heel throughout your career? Well, I mean the the heel per se. I, I mean, I think that you know I kind of got put on that, and to some extent, I earned that. Um, and I wasn't running away from it. Yeah. Um, but at the at the end of the day, uh, I think I think Rangers fans, you know, they probably don't have a lot of great memories of being being from Oakland. <laughs> and prior to that, you know, we we sold the division from you guys on the last day of the season in 2012. <laughs> yep. After sweeping you guys, and then we won the division again. Thirteen. You see, you see, and this is what we're talking about. Yeah, Holland's going to take that good back that good people <laughs> line here in a sec. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Derek's a good guy. I mean, we've hung out and talked. I mean, obviously, once you get into the, um. You know, you get to know a lot of guys. You get to know a lot of people in in, in the in the league and and stuff like that. When you hang out, oh, everybody, the guys that are normally the biggest, 
you know, heels, I would get, say, are normally, you know, some of the better teammates and they care about it. And I just try to tell people, hey, give me a year and, uh, <laughs> you know, you'll see that there's a plan behind it all. So. Oh, okay. Are you a WWE yeah. fan? You know, when I was a kid growing up, I used to really like it. Um, I haven't watched it in, in a really long time. I think I, my last, like, really time I was watching it was when uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin was a yeah. part of it. Yeah. And The Rock and all those guys, NWO. And, yeah, so I really, uh, me and my friends, we still talked about those those times we like to those third annual invited celebrity classic presented by choctaw casino and resorts april 15th through the 21st las colinas country club invited celebrity classic.com slash tickets how is your golf game it's shaping up right now i just got all new uh equipment the past like three weeks uh like three or four weeks ago and just trying to dial that in played yesterday shot even par no. Uh, but, you know, tournament time is a little bit different. I, I just joined up after I retired. I joined this uh, amateur light scratch tour that's around here uh, just to kind of build up some tournament play. And uh, I'm just excited. I've always enjoyed playing golf. Golf was my first love. I started playing it when I was 18 months old. And um, um, now – like every off season, the last probably like the last like two or three off seasons, I'm like, I really just want to play golf mm -hmm. now, <laughs> and I'm I was kind of starting to get a little upset that I had to leave because my golf game was starting to get tight. Well, now I don't have to leave anymore, so now I get to practice playing golf and you know all the things that I did well in, in baseball as far as you know being able to rotate my body still in good shape. And so I can swing a golf club pretty, pretty decent. Um, and I don't have to run anymore, which is great. <laughs> now, now Josh, I'm of the belief I've never played golf in my life. Never picked up a golf yeah. stick. Uh, I, I'm, I've got a bet specifically with Derek Holland. Derek Holland wants to take me out and film this. Uh, I believe that on my first time out, I would shoot an 80. And that's just because it's my first time. I think after a little bit of repetition, muscle memory sets in. I'm probably shooting high 60s, somewhere around there. What, what do you think about that? Yeah, I would probably err on the side of no. <laughs> 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 and, and unless, unless you were just born to have a golf club in your hand, and even with that, I would say it's probably uh, the chances of you breaking a hundred the first time out would probably be slim to none. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, he's our irritant here, Josh. So you are much cooler right. than we were much you were much cooler than we were hoping for. We'd love to see you out there. We're gonna take the show out there to the golf tournament. Thank you for the time and we'll see you in April. Hey, thanks guys. Thanks for having me. And uh you know, if you need to get your tickets, it's at uh, www dot invited celebrity classic dot com slash tickets well done future in the media now with the promos and the teases and all that stuff are you going into media what are you doing next besides golf i've had i've had a, a few people approach me about some things right now i, I just kind of really feel like i want to take about a year yeah maybe off and just kind of get a chance to relax a little bit i've been on the go and i've never I had an opportunity to enjoy a summer, um, you know, do vacationing or anything like that. So I kind of just want to take a little bit of uh, R&R &R yeah. and, uh, you know, regroup and see what happens from there. Thank you, boss. We appreciate it. Josh Donaldson on the DNM Leasing Hotline.